Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CISSP certification exams question and answer series. In today's video, we will study the domain 8 that is software development security. So let's get started with the questions. The question number one in today's video is that what software design methodology uses paired programmers? And the options are Agile, Extreme Programming, Sashimi, and Scrum. And the correct option is the extreme programming. So the extreme programming uses paired programmers. Question number two is that what form of artificial intelligence uses a knowledge base and an interface engine? And the options are artificial neural network, Bayesian filtering, expert system, or genetic algorithm. And the correct option is expert system question number three is that which of the following de definitions describe open source software and the options are freeware gnu public license or gpl software public domain software or software released with the source code and the correct option is software released with the source code such as linux so the Linux is an open source software because source code of the Linux operating system is publicly available. Question number four is that what describes a more agile development and support model where developers directly support the operations? And the options are DevOps, Sashimi, Spiral, and Waterfall. And the correct option is DevOps. So in the DevOps, the developers are directly involved with the operations. Question number five is that at what phase of the system development life cycle or SDLC should security become part of the process? And the options are before initiation, during development, acquisition, when the system is implemented, or the SDLC does not include a security process. And the correct option is that before initiation. So the software development cycle or the SDLC, the security becomes part of the process before initiation of, the, of any phase. Question number six is an object acts differently depending upon the context of the input message. What object oriented programming concept does this illustrate? And the options are delegation, inheritance, or instantiation, or polymorphism. And the correct option is polymorphism. So poly means many and morph means form. So in this uh, the, in this met methodology or in this context, an object oriented or an object produce different output depending upon the input. Two objects with the same name may have different data. What object oriented programming concept does this illustrate? And the options are again delegation, inheritance, poly instantiation, or polymorphism. And the correct option is polyconciation. Question number eight is that what type of testing determines whether software meets various end state requirements from a user or customer contract or compliance perspective? And the options are acceptance testing, integration testing, regression testing, or unit testing. And the correct option is the acceptance testing so when the user or the customer in is involved then this is called the acceptance or the user acceptance testing question number nine is that a programmer allocates 20 bytes for a username variable and an attacker enters a username that is 1000 bytes long all 1000 bytes are copied to the stack what type of attack did the attacker perform? And the options are buffer overflow, cross-site scripting, fuzzing, or time of check 
time of use and the correct option is buffer overflow question number 10 is that what type of database language is used to create modify and delete tables and the options are data definition language or ddl data manipulation language or dml database management system dbms or structure query language sql and the correct option is ddl or data definition language question number 11 is that a database contains an entry with an empty primary key what database concept has been violated the options are entity integrate integrity normalization referential integrity or semantic integrity and the correct option is the entity integrity question number 12 is that which vulnerability allows a third party to redirect static content within the security context of a trusted site the options are cross site request forgery csrf cross site scripting xss php remote file injection rfi or sql injection and the correct option is the cross site request forgery so when the static content is involved then the option is uh, cross site request forgery question number 13 is that what language allows corba or common object request broker architecture objects to communicate via a message interface and the options are distributed component object model dcom the face definition language idl object linking and embedding ole or object management guidelines omg and the correct option is ob object interface definition language or idl question number 14 is that what database high availability option allows multiple clients to access multiple database servers simultaneously the options are database commit database journal replicated database or shadow database and the correct option is the replicated database question number 15 is what component of an expert system consists of if then statements the options are backward chaining forward chaining interface engine or knowledge base and the correct option is knowledge base so that's all for today please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you